What's up, my friends? How you doing? What's going on? You haven't seen this guy. You haven't seen this ugly face for a long, long time, have you? I think it's been approaching two months since I made a YouTube video. Uh, the last one I made, no, it was long, less than that. It was um, Veterans Day or something. What, what was that? The day that I made that video. I can't remember. Um, anyhow, what's going on? I'm still alive, so thank you for... I got a lot of messages on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I upload daily. And my name, my name on there is all small letters. It's Cather Charles is my Instagram. You can see it in the description. I'll put it in the description here and you can find me. Anyway, what's up? I'm here. I'm alive. Uh, today, July 10th, 2021. Uh, today is a very special day in Serbia. Uh, today is the birthday of Nikola Tesla. Uh, and today is also the birthday of a Serbian, uh, famous Yugoslavian uh, actor, Pavle Vujicic. Vujicic. Opa, Pato, that's a tough one. Vujicic. Vujicic. Uh, he was in like Koto Tamo Peva. Uh, he's the one that said. Uh, Vozi, uh, Vozi Mishko. <laughs> uh, good guy. Or funny guy. He's funny in all of his movies. He's just such a good actor. Uh, anyway, all I'm doing, my friends, it's the same thing, different day. I'm still driving, running this food delivery service. We actually launched, launched on June 1st. Uh, so every day from a, we, we, we open at 11 in the morning, we close at 9. Uh, so I have to make sure drivers are on. I have to hire drivers. If drivers can't take something or there's a problem, I have to do it. Set up restaurants and all that jazz. So I just haven't been in a good place mentally. Um, and I just, my, my passion dissipated. Uh, but in one more week, July is half over. Uh, and then I have August and September, and then I'll be back in Serbia. I officially have my ticket back on October 4th. I arrive back in Serbia, and man, I tell you what, this is the longest, well, by then it will be the longest I've spent outside of Serbia for 10 years, because I typically leave for the United States in May. This year I left in March, you know. So, oh, it's just not been fun, you know. Uh, all you Serbs are like, man, I want to get out of here. I want to get to the USA. I'm the opposite. I want to get back to Serbia, you know. Um, what else? A Serbian student's coming tonight. We, very few J1 students um, were allowed to go on this program this year. Uh, the embassy was really tough. The Serbian embassy in Belgrade, or the American embassy in Belgrade, was just so bad. They they didn't have very many openings for our students, uh, and those students who did get a, um, to, to schedule an interview, they were scheduling in July, uh, and still high denials for Serbian students. So unfortunate. Um, but one of them's coming here tonight, and I think it's really funny. I'm, I'm going to pick him up at the, um, at the boat here at 7 o'clock. The funny part was, you know, every year for the J1 students from the Balkans, I always, um, I have a big presentation. I have a presentation and, I, and, and I'll tell them in there, hey, you can't bring domacho rakia, you can't bring um, uh, meat products into the United States of America, you know, all that stuff. I go through all the rules and everything, but nobody seems to really care. Uh, no student pays attention. This Serbian student, he just messaged me, and uh, thank you. He just messaged me, and he said, hey, Charles, I'm coming over on the boat. Can you pick me up at 7? I said, yeah, sure, no problem. And he said, I brought Slanina Pech Pechenica, and um, uh, what else did he bring? Uh, what was it? Slanina uh, Shunka. <laughs> he brought, like, a whole suitcase full of meat products, you know. Uh, he didn't mention Rakia, but he brought all the meat. So obviously customs didn't catch him, you know. All the Balkan students do that, you know. They're all bringing Domachi Rakia, meat products that are forbidden to bring in. But most of the time, American customs don't even look, you know. 
<laughs> one time when I flew into Detroit, um, Michigan, uh, when was that? Back in, man, when did I go to, to Detroit? Maybe 2017? I brought like the most uh, Domacho Rocky that I've ever brought uh, with me. It was like six or seven liters. I don't, re don't recall at this moment, but it was a lot. I had a ton in my suitcase and I get up to the guy, real nice guy. He said, uh, where are you coming from? I said, Serbia. He said, how long have you been gone? I said, well, I don't know, four or five months, whatever the conversation was. He said, why so long? I said, well, I said, I, I live over there. At this time, I wasn't a Serbian citizen. I said, well, I work there. Uh, I live there for the off season. I run this J1 program. Oh yeah, we get students come through here for the J1s and blah, blah, blah. And he said, do you have any alcohol? I said, yes, sir. He said, how much? I said, six liters. He said, go on. He didn't even look at it. He didn't ask me if it was Dematcha. <laughs> uh, but anyway, funny, funny stuff. Anyway, my friends, I better go. I got to do a lot of turning here. Well, go ahead. Another funny thing, funny story, speaking of how, while I'm driving here, uh, I went and picked up this Romanian kid and this uh, Tsurna Goraz, uh student the other day, Ogden. Uh, they found me. They're not from my agency, but they just messaged me and said, hey, we know who you are. Can you pick us up? Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I offered, sorry, I offered to pick them up because uh, they messaged me and said they were coming here. They didn't know how to get to their um, housing and stuff. Anyway, I pick him up. Me and me and him and the Romanian are driving. I'm taking them to their housing. And here, every, traffic's really bad, but everybody will say, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, thank you, sorry. You know, while they're driving, everybody's like, hey, thank you. People let you in. And he said, man, in Cernagora, you'd never see this. He said, everybody's like, Marshall, bitch, Wumantra, you know. He said, people are not uh, friendly when they drive. And I noticed that in, in Serbia, too, you know. In Serbia, some of the, I mean, Serbians stand in line for the poshta at the banks. Really, that's something I can't stand. You don't see them typically that long here at the poshta and at the banks, lines of people. But, you know, I'm so impatient when I stand in line, but when I'm driving, I'm, I mean, I'm not Balkan impatient. But Serbs will stand in line for an hour at the bank and not say a word, but in a car, oh my God, you pause in front of them. <laughs> whatever the fuck they say, all these horrid shit, you know. Anyway, my friends, that's what, so the, so the, back to my story, the Balkan kids were shocked at how polite, he said, man, everybody's polite. One Croat kid, this big, tall, seven foot Croat kid, he, he messaged me when he was over at the boat and he said, man, it's weird. Everybody's talking to me in line. <laughs> I guess at Zagreb, when you're standing in line somewhere, people don't just chit chat with you randomly. But here, people are nice but I miss my Balkan people. Anyway, my friends, that's it for me. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Video say October 4th. Woo, can't wait. Okay, let's see if we can pick out the Balkan, the Serb. I guarantee I can. He's gonna have a Petarusha. He's gonna stand out like crazy. What do you bet? He's gonna have a Petarusha and a tracksuit. No, 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 no. I see him. <laughs> That's him right there. He's here. There's Nicola. See him? <laughs> see, you can see the Balkan guy from a mile away. Okay, check this out. I showed it the other day, but I still love it. Didn't they do a great job at this house? All these different colors. I'm a man, but I love my flowers. <laughs> Does that make me less manly? It's gorgeous. Okay, check out the sunset this evening. This is so beautiful. Those clouds, all the colors. Pink, purple, orange. Lip. I was complaining today to somebody I work with and they said, you know what, listen, we live on an island where the president lives and really rich people pay thousands and thousands of dollars to come here and visit. <laughs> it's a good way to put it in perspective, isn't it? Anyway.
gorgeous evening.